We'll go ahead and start off with the App State Mountaineers, Appalachian State. And whew, this bunch, they are they were really good last year. Really, really good. But they were led by their defense a lot last season. Uh, they lose wide receiver Corey Sutton. They lose offensive lineman Bear Hunter, uh, which was just an awesome name. Just an awesome name. Defensive end Demetrius Taylor was awesome. DeMarco Jackson was awesome. Quarterback Sean Jolly was awesome. Those guys are all gone. When you look at what's going on with their postgame win expectancy, they, they went 10-4 and four last year. They lost the bowl game, right? They went 10-3 and three in the regular season. They really probably should have been 11-2. and two. And projected SP Plus this year is 8-4. and four. And that's about where I've got them. We'll get to that here in just a minute. They were number 9 in PPA margin last year. That is really good. They were number 30 in offensive PPA per drive. That is predicted points added per drive. And number 16 on defense. That is a really, really good margin. That is a sign of an elite team. However, when you look at the numbers here, turnover margin, number 90, and penalties per game was number 66. The penalties per game, totally understandable. When you have an aggressive defense, you're going to get stuff like that. Uh, when you have an aggressive offense, as they did last year, which is one of the reasons why they were so good, is the offense actually became somewhat explosive. But when you, the penalties per game is fine. It's the turnover margin. And we've talked about this with Chase Bryce before. You remember when he was at Duke the season before last? Through turnovers, through interceptions, like crazy. And it's not that he was awful last year. It's just it was too much to be able to deal with what was going on, which is why they were projected to have won at least one more game in the regular season than they did. So it's kind of a mess there. Looking at the offense, Chase Bryce is back. Uh, But his top three wide receivers are gone. Only one wide receiver returns that caught more than five passes. They got four seniors on the offensive line, so that's good. But you got to hope that that run game can improve because they were number 76 in rushing success rate last year. You got to improve that. App State has always been better at running the football than they were last year. It was just, it was kind of a mess. Uh, With that said, the running backs, People and Noel, uh, they return. Uh, The passing game was the key last year. They need the wide receiver, Christian Wells, and, of course, incoming transfers to be able to step up here. It's it's just a little, eh. I don't know know exactly what to say. Um, I think the offense will be okay. Having the signal caller back definitely helps, regardless of the turnover situation and all that. But And, of course, having four starting offensive linemen helps. But you weren't very good at running the football last year, and now you got a whole new crop of skill players. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. On the defense, you got nine players back with 300 plus snaps. Uh, linebackers Hampton and Harrington combined for 27 tackles for loss last year. Cornerback Stephen Jones had five interceptions. You do have key pieces. The problem is you've only got 58% returning production. That is number 86 in the country. It does help that you've got those nine guys that are experienced, but again, you've got pieces here. Can the whole defense gel and continue to run what Sean Clark wants them to do on defense? That's what I'm curious about. Uh, The key is to the season that I've got here. Stop turning the football over. I already talked about that. Again, they should have been 11-2 last year, and they ended up 10-3. They need the wide receivers to develop quickly if they want to maintain what they were doing last year. The, The explosive offense took them to a whole new level. Like That's what I'm curious about. I, I want to know what this team looks like this season when you don't have Sutton, when you don't have uh, all of those other playmakers. What, what is this offense going to look like? Are they going to be able to improve that running game? Because that is what they have leaned on in the past. So I would expect yeah, about 8-4 and four for this team. I like App State. I think they're going to be pretty good. 8-4 and four looks reasonable to me. Uh, you know, going bowling again. Maybe can win this conference or maybe win this division. I mean, maybe the conference. I don't know. This is a really difficult conference. But regardless, App State looks to be still in pretty good shape. Just a few holes here and there, but I think you could say that for everybody in the Sun Belt East, or maybe just the Sun Belt in general. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.